The end to an emotional night of working to honor and remember one team while celebrating the start of another as the humble Broncos took to the ice for the first time since the April 6th collision. I'm Tyler Marr, joined here by Jeff Dandra. Jeff, you know, very much a night that many people had circled on the calendar as as taking that step forward to 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 a more positive approach to all of this. Uh, you know, we heard from a number of people today. Uh, talk to us about some of, some of the standout folks and, and some of the people that we heard from right before the puck drop. Well, hours before the puck drop, we were able to uh, talk to Caleb Dahlgren, and he talked about how important it was to him personally uh, to be here tonight. I think it's very important for me to be here tonight to honor those 16 victims that can't be here and uh, other people as well involved in bus accident that can't be here and to honor everyone that has been affected by this, both internally and externally. There's a lot of people that have been affected by it, and it's something serious, and it's nice to be here in honor, and to be here and support the Humble Broncos organization. Now, we also heard from his father, Mark, who described and expanded on what it was like as he arrived here at the Elgar Peterson Arena, no longer as a father and son Humble Broncos duo, but as friends and as, and as families and as fans. We were driving in and uh, I just seen all the pictures of uh, the people that passed on the bus and I just looked over at him and said, uh, I'm sure glad your picture's not up there. Um, you know, we're the lucky ones and uh, we don't take it for granted and uh, we, every day, we are appreciative to still have them with us. You know, and Nathan Oystrick, the head coach of the Humble Broncos, talked to us about, uh, you know, how to regain that normalcy, uh, you know, as a uh, hockey team moving forward. I mean, I don't know what normal is, but we're going to just continue to come to the rink every morning and, and compete and work. So um, that's what we have to do moving forward, and that's what we'll continue to do. And after the game, a very touching ceremony, Jeff, of you know, 29 banners being unveiled, uh, 16 for those uh, who were lost in the crash, and, and 13 for those who were still with us, uh, many of which were here tonight, you know, very emotional during it all. Uh, a lot of hugging, a lot of you know, just helping each other uh, get through it, and and really take that step towards uh, healing, and and really remembering everybody who was impacted and involved. Thank you for staying with us for our coverage from Humboldt. Make sure to stay with PA Now and all of our Now.com portals for the latest news, sports, and weather.